Welcome back to my Lemmix Lemmix with Gimmicks level solving commentary video series. And today we are going to be starting the Eternal rank. So first up is Eternal 1. Get low. Welcome to the Eternal rank. Almost all skills are eternal here. Bombers don't die when they explode. Blockers remain blockers, even when you bomb them. You can only free them by assigning walkers to them. All destructive skills go on indefinitely, as long as they have solid terrain under their feet. Permanent athletic skills behave as usual. Stoners, however, will still kill the lemon you assigned them to. Okay, only two skill types here. First lemming with bomb. Yeah, so as you can see, after bombing, the lemming still survives. And then we bomb him again. Yep. And we keep on doing it until we get through. Yep, so we broke through after four bombers. And then we just go ahead and use the basher. And remember what the pretext says. The basher will keep on going yeah, as long as he has ground underneath his feet. So it doesn't matter if there isn't any terrain right in front of him. He still keeps going as long as there's terrain underneath his feet. Okay, and he keeps on going until he uh, hits the exit trigger. Yeah, and then he exits, like that. And that's it. So, pretty nice, easy demonstration of the eternal uh, gimmick here. Or rather, the, um... Uh, like... I don't exactly remember the name of the gimmick, but uh, it's like endless, um... Skills or something like that. I honestly don't remember. Anyway, eternal 2. Snow plowing. Okay, so we have three entrances here, and they are, oh no, I'm sorry, four. Yeah, there's another one on the far right, but the three entrances up here are all pre-assigned floater hatches. Okay, um, so one of them is a bomb, uh, a bomber, a zombie hatch. I don't worry if that's slow freeze or, um, or radiation. Okay, so, first lemming here will bomb, and then we do it again, so that it, all the lemmings that spawn from this hatch will be safely contained in the pit here. Oh, they are all uh, zombie hatches, all three of these. Okay, and then at this time I go ahead and max out the release rate. Uh, there's, so it's slow freeze, okay. So we pretty much just wait for all the zombies to uh, be stoned. Yep, so that is it. Now we're gonna go ahead and bash out towards the left. Yep, so as you can see, this um, basher falls, therefore interrupting him. So now we go ahead and build. And then we bomb those stoners away here. Okay, and then we go ahead and build over these stoners. And then... Yeah. And then any lemmings that get trapped in here, I go ahead and bash. Okay, and then build to interrupt the basher. Okay, and then I go ahead and interrupt the build away the basher, and that's it. So, it's easier than it, than it appears. Alrighty, um, Eternal 3, having a blast together. So, this is actually a pretty interesting case, as I was actually stuck here, and then I actually happened upon something on in the Neo Lemmix manual that helped me solve this level. So here, this actually looks impossible, but uh, due to the gimmick that's active here, yeah, it does make this level possible. And it's only possible due to the gimmick. So, it may seem here that like, wait a minute, I don't have any downwards uh, destructive skills, so how do I get down? Well, I will show you when we get to that part. So, first let me out this entrance will block. Okay, then I believe... So what I'm waiting for, okay. So, I block here. The first lemming goes back to the left here. Okay, and then at this point, I max out the release rate. Alrighty. So, here's the part that I completely missed. It totally escaped me. So, the thing I found out in the manual is that the nuke applies here. Yeah, because the nuke is just simply turning them all into bombers. Yeah, um, this is where the gimmick applies. Where 
once they uh, explode, they will still survive. Okay, and the blockers here are necessary. Because, remember what happens to blockers. They, they, uh, upon hitting the ground, they become blockers again. Yes, and remember that bombers, they simply survive. Yeah, bombers, they don't get killed when they are bombers. So yes, this was just a lower whip, whip and nuke solution. Oh, and I ended, ended up interrupting the replay, it appears. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, that's right, um, that's right. Um, with this gimmick active, you can only use the nuke once. So therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and X out the level. Yeah, by pressing escape on my keyboard. So yes, like I said, that level is a uh, is one with a nuke solution. And it's a pretty unique case, yeah, due to the gimmick um, that's activated for this rank. So yes, um, even though you're not provided any bomber skills at all, yeah, the nuke does apply here because um, the nuke is just simply turning everybody into a bomber. And due to the gimmick, yeah, well, bombers uh, don't kill the lemming, they, they survive. And then as you saw, uh, the blockers uh, explode as well, but upon reaching the ground or hitting the ground, they become blockers again. So, so that is necessary so that uh, the lemmings will be able to uh, walk into the exit, the ones that survive and aren't blockers. Alrighty, the next one, Eternal 4, permanently uh, permeable. Alright, so here we have a pre-placed blocker, and uh, this one can be difficult, but it's actually a pretty nice one in my opinion. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bash through here. Oh, I remember right now, it's called the hardworking gimmick. So basically, yeah, the structure skills keep on going, uh, as long as there's terrain underneath its feet, and similarly, uh, builders and platformers keep going as well. Yeah, they never stop. So, as you can see, the basher keeps on going. And then, here we're going to go ahead and stack. And then, same thing here. We're going to go ahead and stack uh, when the lemming uh, gets on top of it. On top of the first one. So, yeah, then we're going to go ahead and bomb here. This um, uh, takes out part of the first stack. So now it creates this nice ramp for everybody to, to go out to the right. So, this is actually a pretty interesting thing. So, the stackers appears to be an exception here, where uh, stackers are still limited to eight um, stacker bricks. Yeah, so really the hardworking uh, gimmick, it only applies to platformers and builders. Yeah, they, they never stop, but stackers still stop. So I find it pretty interesting. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and stack. Yeah, one, no, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make three stacks. Uh, right next to each other, and then we're gonna go ahead and stack here as well. Yeah, and then he's gonna go ahead and climb over. And then, after he falls for a pixel, then I go ahead and bomb. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stack here as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bomb here. Um, doesn't seem like it was necessary though, since they were already contained due to the uh, low side here. Uh, maybe, um, maybe it was simply due to, like, stop the climber from, um, going up the low side. Because there is a possibility that he might splat, I think. Maybe that's the reason why I bombed there. Alrighty, there he is. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're gonna go ahead and stack, do another stack here. Yeah, and then, just before he finishes hoisting himself up, I go ahead and bomb. So now, it takes already the lower stack away, so that everyone will be able to step out to the right later. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stack here. Yeah, so, so as to make a climber friendly wall for him. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and platform over the blocker there. Oh yes. And then... Uh, a little bit... Um, away from the stack, I go ahead and bomb. So this takes away enough of the stack so that they are able to step out to the right. And then the remaining lemmings will be given um, swimmers. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and stack with the platformer. 
And then what else did I get? Oh, and also a swimmer skill. Yep, and that's already it. So, stoner left over here. Okay, and then uh, nuke the blocker. Oh, yes, and that's right. Uh, the nuke and the bombers don't kill him, so therefore I need to exit out. So, technically, you don't need to nuke, nuke him because it, it won't kill him. So, the only way to end the low is to simply escape out. Alrighty, um, Eternal 5, burn your bridges. Uh, let me see. I think I remember this one being another nice one as well. Oh, and that's right, it saved another. No, it didn't. Um, I had two replays there for some very strange reason. Okay, and as a matter of fact, I didn't even realize I had another replay as well. Eh, it's okay. Both of my replays ended up being the same, interestingly enough, so I'm going to assume it's the same there. Alrighty, so bomb. And then I think we just keep on doing it until we break through. Uh, yes, indeed. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead and start building, and then we stone, so as to contain the crowd. And yes, uh, builders will stop if they hit their heads. Yeah, but once he's able to, uh, keep on building, then he keeps, he keeps on going. He doesn't run out of, uh, builder bricks. Alrighty, so he hits his head, then I'm gonna go ahead and build with the last timing up here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stone the lemming here. This is to create a stepping stone for the worker lemming up here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bomb him. Because that's the only way to stop the builder. And due to the gimmick, the, he survives, he doesn't get killed. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and build for the stoner. Okay, and then I believe eventually he'll hit his head. Yeah, and then I simply build the crowd out. And then finally I build to the left. And then eventually he'll turn back towards the exit. So, very, very nice level here. Certainly easier than some of the uh, previous levels. And even 5 over the requirement here. Alrighty, Eternal 6, coming soon, Shimmers. This is a little preview for something which might be introduced soon in the newest version of Neo Lemix. However, since that version doesn't have gimmicks anymore, I went for this little interim um, solution. Uh, Eternal 6. Alright, so we have two um, entrances here. One of them is a pre-assigned uh, glider hatch. Another pretty nice puzzle here. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and stack with the first lemming on the top entrance. And then first lemming at the bottom entrance will build. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bomb the second lemming, just to delay him a little. Oh, and also, um, yeah, bomb him again. So, the two bombers is just simply a delay tactic here. Okay, so because this will give him the builder enough time to build high enough so that the glider can use the updrafts to move upwards. Okay, and then due to the gimmick, the builder keeps on going. Alrighty, and then I believe the gliders should be able to use this part up here to glide to the exit. Yeah, let's see if that's true though. And then we go ahead and bash the stack away to release the top entrance. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bomb the builder so that he stops. Okay, and that's already it. And then eventually this basher will stop. Yeah, once he uh, gets to the part with no terrain underneath his feet. And that's it. Very, very nice puzzle here. I do have a platform I left over though, so maybe not completely intended. Alrighty, Eternal 7. May the Force be with you. Alright, another very nice puzzle here. So you either have one of something or two of something. Okay, so this is a one-way force field. The arrow points to the right, which means Lemmy's can um, only go through to the right. When you come back um, uh, to the left, it will simply make them uh, turn back to the right. Alright, so second Lemmy, we go ahead and block. So this will contain the crowd between the one-way field and the blocker. So one enemy goes on ahead and he will simply start building. Okay, and then what, upon reaching here, we're going to go ahead and bash through. Then we're going to go ahead and build up again. 
Okay, and then upon turning the other way, we're gonna go ahead and platform. Okay, and this is uh, low enough for them to step up. Okay. And then I should be releasing the blocker with a walker soon. There we go, and that's it. Yeah, and if you call, um, yeah, from the pretext, the only way to release the blocker is to use a walker. Yeah, you can't mine or bash uh, the terrain underneath its feet away because uh, once the uh, blocker lands, he'll become a blocker again, and it, it would just simply keep re keep on repeating, I believe. Yeah, although I think at some point the uh, uh, miner and the uh, um, basher would just simply turn around. Yeah, due to the blocker. Anyway, Eternal Eight. Brothers in Arms. Okay, now this is uh, another level that's also found in Lemmings War Tour. And so, uh, because the um, Hard Workers gimmicks, gimmick is not available in newer versions of Neo Lemmings, essentially the closest thing to simulate it is to simply provide a lot of stackers in order to keep up, in order to extend a basher. Yeah, that was really the, the closest uh, that you can get to simulating the gimmick. Uh, which one was that? I think it was Eternal Seven, right? No. Uh, was it Eternal Six then? Nope. Looks like it was Eternal Eight. Yeah, I hate the fact that they don't even tell you what level, um, uh, that you're looking for the replay for. Yeah, not like in newer versions in Neo Linux. Let's go. Alrighty. So, because the Gimmicks are available in this version. Yeah, this is how the solution plays out. Okay, so two quick assignments here. Bash through with the first lemming that goes back to the left in this side. And then with the second lemming, I'm going to go ahead and build up to the crystal up here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and send up a climber to the left. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and bomb. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, platform. And then should be digging down, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Dig through the uh, platformer staircase so that uh, this worker that we just goes on ahead to uh, forge the path. So he's just gonna build this really long platformer staircase. Yeah, all the way across. Oh, and eventually at some point I patched up the gap. So there we go. Yeah, and due to the platform brick, he gets interrupted. Yep, so he goes all the way across. And then to stop him, we just simply assign him a digger. Oh, not yet. oh there we go. Yep, so all the way across. So, some of the skills left over here. So, probably not intended at all, but maybe acceptable. Uh, Strato will be more than happy to tell me. Uh, Eternal Nine, and now you're screwed. So, as you can see, this is a repeat uh, of a level that was found in the... Um, oh, what was the... Um, what was the rank called? Um, it was the uh, rank that featured the uh, turn on the sign gimmick. Um, was it... Was it... it was, Ah, was it the Twister rank? Yeah, I don't remember now. But anyways, yeah, this is a repeat. Yeah, except um, instead of the turn on the sign gimmick, uh, we have the uh, hard workers uh, gimmick instead. And so therefore the level will play out differently. Okay, so first time out of this entrance would get a floater. Okay, and then I go ahead and start building up uh, to the left. Okay, and then I go ahead and bomb him as he's falling. And then I go ahead and block uh, before the rope trap. Oh, um, yeah. At some point, I give a glider to let me from this entrance. Okay, and then next one we get a floater. Yeah, because the idea is to put a blocker to uh, keep the builder going. 
Okay, there we go. Because once he hits the steel, yeah, he's gonna stop. So therefore, to prevent that from happening, we go ahead and put a blocker right in front of him. Ah, uh, yeah, so because of the floaters, yeah, I definitely could have saved a lot more here. Okay, so now we let me put this crowd. I'll go ahead and mine to the left. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a blocker in front of him to turn the, the miner. Yeah, here, uh, oh, that's why I didn't put floaters, because some of them would fall from a huge height here, so therefore we saved them with floaters. Yep, there we go. Two more need floaters there. Okay, and then finally, all that's left to do is to bomb to the wooden plank, and that's it. Yeah, and we max out the release rate. And there we go. Oh, he went flat, so I could have saved him with a floater. Yeah. Here we'll save more than enough. Oh yeah, and there's no point in nuking the blockers. Yeah, because they end up surviving and become blockers again. So therefore, we need to exit out here uh, with the escape key. So yes, uh, this is how the solution plays out when the hard workers gimmick is active instead of the turn on a sign uh, gimmick. So as you can see, it's very, very different. Alrighty, and the final level for Eternal, Eternal 10, lock and load. It's the final level of the Eternal rank. Are you in the mood for something really stupid? Eh, probably. Alrighty, so we have some multiple teleporters here. I think the teleporters. And then we also have a radiation object here. Oh uh, yes, so this teleporter needs to be here. Let me see, where did the bombers explode? Okay, so for the first landing, I go ahead and block him. Right there. Okay. So, and then I go ahead and release the blocker with a walker here. Okay, and then I, I assign the blocker to the one that has a 7 second countdown. Alrighty, and then... Oh yes, and then I saw a blocker here. Alrighty, and then I released this blocker with a walker. Okay, and then I assigned this lemming of a blocker yeah, that has a countdown. Okay, and then I put another blocker up here. So Simon came in there. And then I go ahead and release the blocker with a walker before he explodes. Oh, and also give him another walker to turn around as well. And then I also release this blocker with a walker. Okay, and then I assign this lemming with a countdown a blocker. Okay, and then I get this lemming that has a countdown of a blocker here. Yeah, it's pretty tedious, but um, we need to break through the uh, wall here though. Okay, and then release this blocker with a walker. Okay, this lemon has a countdown, so he, so he gets a blocker. And then same thing with this one. Alrighty, and then, I'm gonna go ahead and release this blocker with a walker, the one that doesn't have a countdown anymore. Okay, and then put a blocker with this, with this lemon has a countdown. Okay, release that blocker with a walker. And then, same thing with this uh, lemon that has a countdown. And then, put a blocker up here. And then, release him with a walker. Okay, and then, put a blocker up here. Okay, and then, stop this lemon with a countdown with a walker. Oh, blocker, sorry. Okay, so. We have a couple of groups here. Go ahead and release this blocker with a walker, and then bash to the right. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and put a blocker right behind the basher, so as to contain the crowd. And then finally, use the platformer um, to bridge this long gap. Alrighty. And then, I stop the platformer with a walker, and then release the blockers with walkers, and that's it. 
So really, it's just dealing with this uh, radiation. Yeah, and that's why you have plenty of walkers and blockers to help you with that. I guess levels like these were the reason gimmicks were removed. Anyway, skills may have been eternal, but this rank is not. From now on, they will behave as normal again. Or will they? Alrighty, so that was all the eternal rank. So next time we will cover the um, ep ephemeral rank. I think that's how you say it. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Lemmings with Gimmicks Level Summit Commentary Video Series. And I'll see you all next time.